Somalis are uh, as tough a people as you'll probably meet anywhere. They have had a rather extraordinary capacity to endure what they have been through. They also have a very entrepreneurial spirit um, that I think has really also helped them get through this period of, of prolonged, sustained crisis. It was really devastating because Somalia will never experience a war before. There were sometimes clashes in, in, in the nomadic area, but in the cities there was no war before. So it was really a catastrophe and uh, children were dying, there was no water, enough water, there was no food at all, there was no even you know, cooking utensils because the person who loot, they take even everything. So people, they, were, they don't know if they can alive next day. For the ICRC, it was and remains, and, and that's not a, a proud point of reference actually, but our, our largest humanitarian operation since the Second World War. We thought that everybody needed as much help as we could provide, and we assisted about a million people at the time. We had a fleet of 20 ships. We must have had about 20 planes, 25 planes. We probably had a couple of hundred trucks, so we, we kind of organized multiple simultaneous entry points so that food was pretty much arriving throughout the country, all over the country at the same time. We brought all this food and then we cooked it, uh, which was another way of preventing it being looted, was cooking the food. And it's, it's more difficult to loot cooked food than it is to loot a truck full of food. People would come every day for a year to take three meals of rice, beans and oil. That, that was the value it had. It, it, it was enormously important. It affects many people, majority of the people, but it mainly affects women. And in every war, it is a woman who is a victim, who is the most vulnerable because she cannot defend herself. I think with time, Somalis started coping with the conflict. Uh, the situation has improved. Uh, the number of humanitarian organizations multiplied and they definitely take a big chunk of the pressure. You can imagine being a Somali, your own people, that sometimes you don't even understand. It's very difficult to rationally look at why at the end of the day people are fighting. Yes, they fight for political issues, but at the end of the day it doesn't make a lot of sense. But the response of the Somali people to their problems is something that has been very humbling to be a part of and to watch. And they, they got on with it and they looked after their children and they did everything they could. And, and the great credit is owed to the Somalis. There seems to be a, quite some optimism uh, amongst many Somalis in the south and the centre following uh, better rains which are helping the rural economy in particular, uh, helping them to move out of this period of uh, recent food crisis and then as well as a result of uh, recent elections which have uh, seen a, a, a government installed in Somalia for the first time really since, uh, since 22 years. That's clearly creating some optimism. Nevertheless, for the ICRC, we see that there continue to be massive challenges ahead. Uh, the conflict isn't over. So like many other Somalis, yes, I am quite optimistic. And, and I hope that it's not just optimism, optimism alone, but optimism, with, optimism with, with something to follow.